First time oh. back in the studio. In the first, new year. first time anal. First time okay. anal. Go. Everyone go. <laughs> He's starting off really hot. Wrong website, Aaron. Could you <laughs> but this is our first episode of the new year. It is. So we decided yeah. that the episode will be our first times. And we're covering a whole spectrum of first whole. times. First kisses. <laughs> first. Uh, <laughs> first Many holes. Um, first loves. Fellatio. <laughs> first fellatios. First. Um, Do you just want to call this episode sex? Is that. <laughs> Oh, no, I there's like a whole the... list, and it's like so many first times of like yeah, random stuff. Do you think yeah. we'll ever have a sex episode? We have to have a killer I have it sponsor. on there. <laughs> I feel like it would be fun to have like a like a sex therapist or someone on, Ooh. like someone who could like guide the conversation. Right, not just isn't it sick when? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea to have a you sex know, therapist. I like think someone be... who could help us through. Then it'd be so like formal. <laughs> but for this one, we have a whole wide spectrum of of firsts, and we're just going to use that as um our topic. But uh, just first, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has been part of the Good Influences journey for all of 2002. That was a great 2022. Year. <laughs> We've been doing oh it shoot 2002 because I had that Anne Marie song stuck in my head. Where it's like 2002. You know, like that song. No. Well, some people may know it. Anyways, <laughs> that song stuck in my head. 2022. Uh, it was such a great year for us. Yeah. We started this podcast. And we've had so much fun, and we cannot wait to continue uh, this into the new year. Um, so thank you for those who have stuck with us, and for those who are just now finally joining us. Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you. And That's if this is your actually, first episode oh. listening to First Times, and That's if you love this episode so much, be sure to like it, review it, and go watch all of the other episodes that we've uploaded uh, the past year. How many episodes have we done so far? Oh my gosh. 28. 28. Wow. And they're really, really great. So please check those out. And um, we'll have to do something. 28, and they're great. <laughs> <laughs> Something oh. for the hundred. Yeah, that's what I, I yeah. think. When we get to the hundred episode, make it episode. episode. <laughs> make it, make it episode. We talk about sex. Nudity. <laughs> a nude episode. Could you I, imagine? That we're just I, pixelated we, on YouTube. I kind of want to go like. Uh, can we do like a vacation and do one like remote? Ooh. Okay. Don't gotta twist my arm. <laughs> yeah. Where are we talking? Where uh, do you want to go? Let's just go to like Mexico or something. Go okay. to Mexico. Which is like on the beach. A trying resort. To record. I don't know. I kind of want to go to a resort. Oh. oh can we um, go to Puerto Vallarta? I've yeah. always wanted to go to Puerto Where's Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta? It's like on it's on the west coast side, but like oh. sort of in the middle a little. I so I just it's like so hard with the time change. What if we just go to like Burbank? <laughs> <laughs> the airport. But I think I, I, you guys seem like fun like resort people. Yeah. Where we like oh we can link up, drink by the pool, yeah. hang out, and then go to dinner. We, a we don't have to go anywhere. Yes, off oh, the best. Because that's the worst is when like, you sometimes do like a big vacation with a group of friends. You're like oh god, I can't stand this. Group. And it's like people wanted different things. I wonder and... if you would feel that way with all of us. If I don't were... think so. I think at a resort, it's very you know because like... everyone can kind of do their own thing, but then also come together. Yes. Meet you at the water slide at three p.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they guns. usually have massages Perfect. there. Like uh, spas. Do you like a good massage? Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you? Love a massage. Yeah. One of we one of talked life's... about this on the last we episode. We did. Okay. I was like, who yeah. is and it was Matt. And you were like, I just cuz it was like, would you rather your partner give you a massage or give yeah. you a oh, gift yeah. or something? Yeah. That's right. Just I would just me. rather get a professional massage yeah. than oh, like a yeah. than like a a boyfriend. A half-assed <laughs> yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. I want to go to the mall and just get one of those water massages, <laughs> which I never did, but I, I feel like oh there was a God, moment in the 2000s where it was just like Yeah. Is it they just look dirty, I think, cuz it's just like Oh. You're like Leather. getting this condom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone ever gotten one of the massages at an airport? Yes. You no. have? Yeah. Oh, my God. Was yeah. it great? It's How much so, was it? it? It's too expensive. It's like $3 a minute. <gasps> Wait. It's insane. The, the, chair, the chair massage or someone's really no, massaging someone. you? No, you're like sitting in the chair, but like facing like 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 the ground. Chairs. And then they're just, I mean, you do it for like 15 minutes. I was just stressed one time and I was like, fuck this. I don't know. I have 40 minutes till my flight. I'll do a 15 minute massage. Love that. Costs like $40. Oh my God. Um, 
but for it was worth 15 it. Minutes. Yeah, I know. And you have to like still sit up. <laughs> and it's so loud in the airport. Yeah. You're like, oh, well, uh, Jane Goldberg, please come to gate 40. And you're just like, nope, I'm yeah, Zen. Yeah, they should give you I'm headphones zen. with like Zen music or something. I know. Just I just always wanted to poke my face like in the little area over there and go, how's Hi. it going? Hi, how are you? Feeling good? <laughs> hey, I think, you're, I think your plane's boarded right now. I feel like that would be like an SNL skit, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Just like Kristen Wiig popping under. I used to do them oh. in the mall, too. You know, like when you're walking through the mall and there's just like a kiosk oh, in the middle yeah i don't know i love a good massage i would get one every day if i could i know same all right let's see back to first all right, yes okay yes. first massage what, what's the first on the okay, list of first the first one was first time meeting each other oh. which i thought wow. was like cute and like you know a way to make it about us yep no we love it making it about us. your noises <laughs> he's like i'd rather not relive those days oh, okay um i can do it like pretty quick Carly, first time that we met was at the House of Blues in Anaheim. Yep. Um, after it VidCon. Was, it was after oh. VidCon, or it was during the weekend of VidCon. It 2014 was like it, VidCon? It, it had to have had been. Had to have been. 2014? We yeah. haven't lived here yet. That's yeah, almost, it was 20, it's 20, summer of 2014. I met, I met you and Zane at the same time. Yes, but I also, I met you and Zane that night separately. Like, we all, oh, okay. uh, we met, like, a lot of people that night. Yeah, but I remember you, you specifically. You were there with Brandon Calvillo. Yep. And then I came up, and I, I think you were wearing like a little polka dotted like shirt, <laughs> probably. probably your cute little dress, my Midwest, yeah, bitch, yes. <laughs> Midwest core, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I remember like thinking like, oh my gosh, she's hanging out with Brandon Calvillo. She's hanging out with like the top dogs, <laughs> <laughs> the big popular viners. Yep. And I met you there, and then Aaron, first time I met you, and we also knew each other online. Do yeah. you remember oh, yeah, the first yeah. time we met? Um, yeah, I believe it was when I was visiting and I was staying with Mackenzie Stipp and yeah. then we went to like a UCLA party or something. Yeah, yeah, it was outside of a frat house. I remember yeah. these Snapchat frat stories. Frat babies. You, <laughs> were, you were jumping on a on a mattress yeah. out on the... This... I remember these stories in my brain for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, funny. Do, we, do you think they're still saved in your Snapchat memories? <laughs> maybe. Do you think that existed then? Oh, maybe it didn't exist back I then. I feel like it didn't. Is that Snapchat memories? Yeah. I don't know. It's it's weird. that would be fun to see. So that's if 2014. Yeah, that's, that's one year away from being a decade. Shut up. Yeah. Whoa. It is that, not. It's. <laughs> well, I mean, that was in like August of 2014. And it's 2023. So in 2024, it'll be 10 years. <gasps> that's a big chunk of life. We were babies. We were. I know. Babies. We were so young. We were, we're going party. to a frat party. <laughs> actually, <laughs> sounded fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's like that's the what last color, thing. What color was Carly's hair? Mm. Pink. pink yeah pink bright yeah. red pink yeah what else would it have been I, I don't know i didn't know carly in 2014 i don't remember when we met for some i don't reason. remember either mine was when we went to do the wedding dress video that was the first time that I met was the you. first yeah. time that we met what? right yep. that was the first time yeah, i think so you had just moved here yep and then i i definitely David's like bridal? seen photos uh -huh. yeah. of you before and i like knew who you were yeah but not well yeah i have a really bad memory of like when my friends meet other friends for the yeah. first time sure. i'm always like reintroducing people i'm like you've met they're like yes we've met i do that all that the time too yeah. and they're yeah, like yeah, yeah we know each other but like why do, don't be a dick about it just be like oh yeah we've already met actually yeah don't be like yeah i know matt oh, and you're yeah, like, I, okay. I, I feel like if you've done it like 10 times then i'd be like are you fucking kidding me at this point <laughs> yeah, like, how do you like, not know purpose. but like a few times yeah okay. put them in their place and then mike first I, time we met was that davy wayne's davy we've Wayans. told this story many oh, times yes yes um um Wait, that was the first time. Was it you the first I... time that we met, though, at David's Bridal? I feel like we had no, known each we other. No, we had met before. In person, though, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you guys it's had. It's also so hard to, like, Lauren DIY. Yeah. I, we've been, like, friends on Instagram. And, like, we literally are always DMing each other, like, responding to each other's stories. And then I saw her at the gym. And I was like, oh, my God, hi. And then both of us were like. Have we met in person? <laughs> you have this feeling, though, where someone's on the same page. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Where like, you're thank like, God have we asshole. met before? Yes. And they're like, I don't know, have we? And you're like, I just want to be, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That also happened with um, Alex Weiss. Yes, yeah, because we it's on like the podcast when and... you're in the like world that we're in, you're constantly talking to people and like hearing about them through other people, and it gets really like watching them podcasts. sometimes. See yeah. them on their, your feed, yes. yeah, 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 and yeah. you're like, oh my god, I don't remember. Wait, when we went to the VMAs in New York, New York, did yes. you live in LA at that time? No, I was so I knew you then. Like we were oh, hanging out. Oh yes, wow. So yeah. I knew you then. I do not remember when me and Mike met. I don't remember either. 
Maybe it was at the VMAs. It may, may have been, yeah. That well, was then a fun wouldn't night. have I met you there? Yeah. Were you at the VMAs? Yeah. Yes, I was. But you didn't come out with us after. Oh, because I had a migraine. I, I went home. Yes. And I went I up went. to y'all's hotel room at the VMAs. Though I think, Mike, you you just let me go. You got me my pass, and then I went into the lobby, and oh. I had a few beers by myself. And then I went so, up to y'all's there room. Was, then maybe, did yeah. you go to the VMAs twice? Because yeah. I went to the VMAs with you one time, too. Yeah, oh but my that gosh. was in LA, but not in New York City. You yeah, we go... were in New York. Yeah, it was Radio in New York. City. You didn't go to the VMAs with me in New York, brother. Yes, we did. <laughs> oh, we had a, <laughs> we had quite a night afterwards. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Matt's you want to talk about first times? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh wait, no, I remember this because yeah, there a lot of stuff. I didn't. Yeah, we, we, we can't talk about it. Matt, we, I had we known you then. I, I know that's I'm so confused, but I feel like you literally met him at your apartment. Like I remember, you guys being like, "Nice to meet you." Yeah. When you did, we did the David's bridal thing. Yeah, I I don't know. This is so. There was confusing. also it was like nine of us all in a row at the VMAs, and like I feel like you guys might have been at the other yeah, end. Maybe it was just maybe. not. We didn't really. Like, I feel like you could track it down through photos of like when yeah, your first yeah. appearances. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, but that this night, let's talk about that night. Calling people. <laughs> no, we are not. Calling people. <laughs> hey, do you guys remember? <laughs> I'll take that night to my grave. Uh, uh okay. Let me just but, say uh, this. Why don't you share with the class? Matt and I, or at least with us. ended up going we know. to someone's place. Yes. And we did not. I had a flight to Israel with my family at 10 in the morning the next morning. And I went from whatever me and Matt were doing straight to the airport. And my dad looked at me whatever and he just goes. Whatever we were doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad was just like, like so disappointed because I just looked disheveled. I didn't sleep the whole night. I still have photos of you and in, in oh, me in the car. Yeah. Was like, yeah. When you're like, oh, dying. it was light out. It was a fun night. Good times. Okay. Uh, well, Aaron and I met for the first time. At Here. Rachel Ettinger's house. Mm -hmm. Remember Rachel Ettinger? She was on yes. Vine. Yes. Her yep. house or like that apartment, apartment she had with that like courtyard and yes. we all smoke cigarettes outside. I call outside everything a house. It. It's a, yeah. a floor. Not we but all yes. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was December of 2014. Yeah. Because we hung out all, again for the second time that weekend and that's when I peed on your clothes. <gasps> yeah. Right. And Aaron, I met her and she was wearing like a red wig mm -hmm. to match me. <laughs> oh. How did you guys meet? At this house? No, we had known each other. Yeah, we were like meeting Vine. for the first time. Yeah. And we were technically going to LA together to like find an apartment, <clears throat> quote unquote, but we ended you up just hadn't met, But you were like, let's move in together? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had like FaceTimed and stuff. Yeah, we chat, we Skype. We were internet friends. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I, that seems like a bold risk, but. Yeah. Whatever. So in college, you had like a random roommate. At least we knew each other. True. Yeah, that those is are true. Some precious times. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, you don't. It's weird those moments. You know, people always talk about like, oh, the first time you meet your first, your 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 the love of your life, whenever that moment is. But it's also really crazy the moments you meet, like your long time like good friends that you make. And little do you know How that this person yeah. you're going to be Me spending a lot more time with. <laughs> yeah, and. It's just, that's just the mystery of I know. going about like your life your is life. that you don't know how long people will be in your life or the ones that will stay. And in that one moment, just how like pivotal it, it, it truly is going mm -hmm. to be. I just, Even like just that time thinking about everyone who like came here and moved here and lived here and to then like watch them all just kind of like disperse away. Like especially the vine. Yeah. And it's still kind of sad too because like yeah. none of it you'll ever get back. Yeah. And, and while you're in it you think that oh this is just going to be forever. Yeah. Like this, yeah. this community this group that we have is just going to always be there and then it fizzles out. It truly is like a, a TV It's like graduating show. high school. Yeah. Oh, oh my god that's a really good analogy. No, It's like well oh, it's just because like people. I'll see you again. No. Nope. We oh. were also really young. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, early that. 20s. Yeah. Life is exciting. And a little yes. naive, too. It was yeah. really exciting at the beginning. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, it's still exciting at times, but it's like, yeah, it was everything like I get was to go back so to college, new. basically. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. But I think, do you think, I think I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty, like, happy how it all went, and I don't feel, like, too depressed by, no, like, I don't either. Uh, how it went, but, like, in a way, if I wish Depressed could, in what way? Like, uh, I think for... Like meaning like, oh, we can't get back those days. Oh, got it, got or it, got it. I think sometimes people get really hung up on like glory days or times where it was really good. And then you have to mentally shift and grow with yourself and the memories and what's happening in front of you. And that's a real tough thing I think a lot of people deal with. Because sometimes, you know, they say like, if you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you're living in, in the, the future. future. And if you're um, 
if you're content, you're living in the present, I guess. But I think, though, I don't know. I felt like I was able to compartmentalize and understand the end of a chapter. Mm -hmm. But I guess I'm just thinking about, like, advice for other people is to always, like, kind of keep it in the back of your mind that nothing is going to be permanent. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nothing you know? is permanent. I feel yeah. like I don't think that way at all. Same. In I what feel sense? Like, like I, I never am like, one day this will all be gone. <laughs> oh. Like, I, I literally am just like, life goes the way it goes and like you create that life for yourself you're just like on a raft going down a river and it's 100 percent. you're not like oh well there's the end of that chapter now it's just 100 we'll keep flowing yeah, yeah. Like, oh this yeah, is my yeah. life now yep oh, yeah. like and yeah, i think that I, all comes I, yeah. with like change growth like everything and being yeah. open to it too not trying to oh, hold on to being sure. like no i want to be back in the vine days like yes. that's yeah, a no. recipe for a disaster <laughs> <laughs> that's why all these people are going to make vine apps it's not going to work it's not going to happen yeah. <laughs> no vine is going to happen yeah. again yeah. we have tiktok <laughs> get over it <laughs> i i miss the like the just the just how just new age it was yeah. like of just of social course. media like you could you could there do was anything. so much possibility. It was, it was like, a pioneer. Yes. It was just like the new frontier. It was like, what could this be? And now it's like the influencer culture is so different yeah. than it it's was. Because it wasn't really a thing. I mean, it was with YouTubers, but it wasn't. No, it, yeah. It wasn't what it is today. Yeah. It was just kids having fun on YouTube making money. But that was pretty much it. And now it's like. Here's my daily routine, yeah, <laughs> like totally. all that shit, and we're gonna do another episode. Talk about be real now, but yeah, <laughs> that's the only thing that matters. Being so real. What's, another... the, what's the next first? Uh... Okay, the next first, first time you got recognized. <gasps> oh, wow, that's cool. I uh, was working at Target. Really, I was working at Target, yeah. and this boy came in. It was a love story, <laughs> not really. <laughs> uh, he was probably like my age, and he took a photo with me, and I was like, "This is so fucking weird." And did my he... manager was like, "What was that?" <laughs> did he know your name? Was he like Carly and Contra? Yeah, did yeah. he yeah. into that Target to find you? Or I don't just... know. I didn't ask, but he, it was the first time I was ever recognized for anything, yeah. and it was because of Vine. I don't think I was even like that big on Vine either. Um, and That's it was really cool. it was a very cool experience. Like yeah. I went home, I told my parents, I was like, I got recognized. It's wow. such a fun insane experience i mean it still is but especially when you're like you'll never forget you're it. just working your real retail job and mm -hmm. somebody comes up to you crazy did that put something in your head of like okay this is real i'm gonna now really no. double down and like <laughs> uh not really i mean it made it. it more real i guess but i wasn't like okay this is it for me now because yeah. in my head i was like still in college just i also working. feel like then too it was just like wait what yeah because, like, like now why do you care so about normal. me it's like Oh, people recognize people all the time from TikTok, from this, from yeah, that. But for then it, it was like sense. so like, wait, why did this person come up to me? Like, it was like almost a celebrity kind of thing that happened, not to yeah. sound crazy, no, but it's like totally. now it's so, it happens so much. Yes. But at that time, it felt like the only time people will recognize is if they were a celebrity. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, now to be an it's internet not. Person. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, whoa, this is so weird. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys remember your? Yeah, I was at Chili Fest. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Chili Fest chili is fest? this. It's this like country <laughs> music festival that Ooh. Texas A and M throws. Okay. And it's I, there's, I don't even think there's like a damn chili contest oh, there because yeah, you, you were go still there, in school. Yes, I was still in school. This was I'm pretty sure spring semester of your 2014. Senior. Yeah, 2014 spring semester and chili fest so it was like kind of near like spring break i guess uh and i had been doing vines and then we were walking through the festival and these girls started following like my friend group and my buddy goes i think these girls who are following us oh recognize you and i'm like from vine and he goes probably <laughs> and then i turn around and they go hi she goes you're from vine are you mad and i was like yeah they go can we get a picture and that's so cool said, and you know i think that what that fan like sent me a picture like uh like a year or two ago and i was like oh, this wow. and i was, like i think i like i commented go this was the first time i ever got recognized wow yeah Ew. that's really cool to have that photo yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i, I remember asking for a selfie and it was just like whoa like, this is why <laughs> you're like me yeah that was my first time yeah very vividly remember that i don't remember the first time but there's always one time that will like stand out to me forever and it's when i went to ireland and this was like a couple years into it and we were um going to the cliffs of moore and so we were driving through oh, to buy a ticket and the girl who was giving us the ticket was like oh my god oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you and over there in the seat <laughs> Yeah, she was so sweet and I literally was like are you kidding me like we're in a different fucking yeah. country like 
so far from where I even live. Like, this is so crazy to me. It's like the first time that I was like, holy shit. Because like being recognized in LA, I feel like it's just like every day it happens. Not every day, but like yeah. you walk into the grocery store and there like could be someone. Like yeah. Bryce all like, there. Like, when you are so far anyone. from where you are and like where you make your content, it just doesn't seem like real. Yeah. And then I, I, I love those moments where like yeah. making someone, like if I pull off in like a gas station in the middle of like nowhere <laughs> yeah. and like a per- the person working there is like, what are you doing here? Yeah. Like Matt, like they're like, no, li- this yes. is like, what are you doing here? That I love those moments. Last weekend when I was in Utah, I go skiing and like it is a very small ski resort like not bought out by Vail or any of those and I was in the ski shop so small like literally maybe two of these rooms and a girl just yells from across it literally saying oh my god what are you doing here <laughs> and then of course I'm like oh my god I'm a little embarrassed I'm like hi yeah. <laughs> wow it's pretty those, cool. but they're the those are always the best places mm-hmm. just being a little highlight to their day it's only yeah. time where like you like because it is uh, the first time you recognize it's cool mm-hmm. and then it's like it happens and it is cool but it's also very very weird oh, um it's yeah. like it still feels like so embarrassing at the same time <laughs> where you're just like, like what do i talk yeah. about because the moment is kind of like about you but it's this other person yes. and you're just like you also gotta like make the moment memorable for a person you're just kind of yeah. out of your comfort zone for a while yeah but it's a great when you could be like a true delight to someone's just day totally. and yeah. it's like really exciting for them and i feel like you guys are all really good about it too like you give them the time you like are really genuinely excited to meet them like you see some influencers are like yeah that's me and they're all I know, right it's like, but okay. like anytime i'm with matt especially he's like and hey, what's your name oh my god yeah i'm from of i'm course. from dallas too and yeah. like that's give them charmer. The, yeah <laughs> that's a charmer that's yeah. also just so good with people i think that was like the getting into it like getting recognized it would always be like so confusing because i'm like oh oh my god because of the internet like that's how you know me so then it's like wrapping your brain around that and then having to also like have a conversation with someone who you don't know yeah it is it's a weird feeling because you like i don't say you have to like turn it on but like you yeah. do find yeah. it you yeah. almost like, but you like you're going to. into like interview mode or you're like you're like <laughs> well, yeah, you don't want to be like oh hey yeah, yeah. you know yeah. it's like you want to be energetic and yeah. you want them to go back saying like oh he is just as cool as i was hoping yeah you don't want them to be like it was a little weird he or whatever yeah. yeah i try to like or sometimes i try to like I, I or I try to uh, change my mind as if like I've known this person for a long time because they've known me mm. like online. I try totally. to like treat them like they've been a part of it. Or like I was walking to Barnes and Noble and a girl was like checking out and she was like, "Matt, hi," and I was like. What's up? And I come over and go, what book? I go, what books did you get? She was like, um, just, and I like, hold on. And I come, I went over there and I was like, show, and she was like going through all her books. I'm like, Aww, oh, I gotta read that. that. I gotta read that. And she was like, she was so sweet. And like her mom took a photo and I was like, mom, do you want a photo? She was like, yeah, Aww. it was good. Mike, when was the first time you got? I, I, I can't remember. I used to do these other videos where I was like traveling a lot and there was like a travel vlogger Ooh. and New York city apartment stuff. I, th- the one memorable time was I was getting on a flight. And I gave him my ID to like check in. He goes, I know who you are. And I was like, whoa, Whoa. that's pretty bad. It was like at the airport too, like an official capacity. And I was, he was like, no, I know who you are. I watched the videos. And I was like, (gasps) damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, That's I had a police officer recently. (laughs) Wait, none of it was in New York. What? (laughs) Wait, what? Police officer. Oh, yes. They stopped us on the street. NYPD. <laughs> and then one of them DM me and was like, where's our pic or something? And I was like, he, they were like, can we get a picture with you guys? It's We were on our way to go record uh, the morning toast. What? We were walking yeah. through the streets of New York and it was just like two LAPD guys. I mean, Wait, NYPD. NYPD. And they were like, can we get a picture with you guys? We were like, well, first of all, a cab. <laughs> <laughs> but sure. second of all, yes. <laughs> Anything for you. Oh, my. God, yeah, but you, I was a, yeah, it was in Alabama. And I was walking with like Patricia's brother. We were like in Mountain Brook, and this like full police officer is like you know like bulletproof. Vet, I don't know, just a huge yeah. in the full getup. Oh, and I'm walking, and he goes, Matt King, and I go, <laughs> yes. He put his hands up. It's like yes, I mean, yeah. You're finally getting framed. Dude, my, for heart, murder. <laughs> my heart, my heart sank. Rouse? I thought I had done something wrong. <laughs> My mind was reeling. I'm like, Matt, what did you do? 
And uh, I remember Patricia's brother was just like, he like was like, oh my gosh. And he goes, he's like, oh. You're wanted for the big, murder. Yeah, like, big yeah, fan yeah. of the podcast. And I was just like, oh. That'd be funny if he like joked at first, like you're wanted for something. Yes. I wonder if they can do that or if they'd get fired. I would be like, that's not funny. Is it, send me the body cam footage. Like, can you imagine? I'm like, you post on TikTok well? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. That is so funny. Oh, I also want to say, that has to do with all of us. I was at Rite Aid a couple weeks ago. I forgot to bring this up. And I was in my car about to leave and this girl also got in her car and she looked at me and she was like, roll down your window. And so I rolled it down and she was like, I love good influences. Oh, wow. Yeah. She was like, I listened to the ep one episode today on my way to work. I was oh, like, that's, that's so, so cool. Oh, that's really She's cool. like randomly at a Rite Aid. Oh my God, I love that. I know. It was very sweet. She was nice. We love you guys. Yeah. Thank Truly. You. Except for the Kyle Rottenhouse fans, maybe. <laughs> we, got, we got one guy that was like, love Kyle Rottenhouse. I don't know Kyle, if that's sarcastic Kyle or not. Did Kyle get $2 million? Did you hear that? For what? Just being like, are you like sued or something? He got $2 million. Is that true? He I sued don't. someone? Yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse just got $2 million. I hope not. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have oh, to DM that. Maybe you know, fact check <laughs> that. Fact check that. If that's true, I don't know. Um. Okay. We have a, like, Joe Rogan, how it's like fact checked oh does he do that now? um for some of his podcasts i think it's like covid stuff it'll give a warning like oh. COVID oh. fact check or whatever could be false information um armchair expert they do it at the end of every episode oh yeah yeah remember, remember i good. asked that to uh, uh monica god at q and a go hi monica big fan here <laughs> when you do the fact check are you doing that uh as you edit the podcast <laughs> or after podcast before hold on before she answers <laughs> matt was sitting there wait i'm so jealous you guys went to a show no, no we didn't go to a show it was like a spotify creator like creator day, day oh. for anchor um and, and that's that's the reason why jealous. i wanted to go because because monica padman was doing yeah. the he was like night. he was like do you think this is a good question like i i want to ask her a question i want to like really because no one her. was asking questions about the damn show everyone was like of course so how did you get into podcasting like it was very broad and yeah. that was sitting there like i don't know if i should ask i don't know i just want i don't want to be a fan but i want to make her think like i know whatever and so he asked this question and she literally just gave a one word answer she, goes, she was like before and she goes no and she's like while well, i edit <laughs> Next question. Oh and I was my like, God. Oh, set. You just ran out. They just did an episode with Jerry Seinfeld, and it was pretty good. No way. I was like, I'm scared of this man. Oh, Jerry? <laughs> yeah. He's just like so confident. Hit his character. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he's like, I don't get anything. Why do people do this? Why do people do that? Oh, my like, God. I just feel like it would be extremely hard to have a sit down interview with him, <laughs> but they did a really good job. Interesting. Mm hmm. Cool. I would love to. You should listen. Yeah, I'm gonna listen. I listen to everything he does. Yeah, he's like my spiritual. I think he was promoting like a book. I think yeah, he just came just... out with a book or yeah. something. I've already listened to the full audio book. Okay, yeah. Dax was like, <laughs> I don't know how you were gonna do this because I think it's about like the car show it's or whatever. The, yeah, yeah. And he was like, but I loved it. And he's a big car guy, so yes. they got to. Oh, okay, they I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that, that on my list. Least. Wow, thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um. Okay. Next. Next. First app you check in the morning. Great mm. question. Mine is usually Instagram. Before messages even? I have to do messages. I, I don't wake up with that. any messages. I don't oh. count messages as an app. My, Me neither. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. oh, really? Well, it's iMessages and then Instagram messages. And it's the oh. top thing on my to-do list is to respond to text and in in dms because i get anxiety throughout the day i'm like god there's like right now i know that there's a text that someone sent me last night that i still haven't responded to that's and okay it eats at me all, oh i know from like but it eats at my anxiety all day we're like i'm a bad person i'm a bad friend that i'm ignoring people <laughs> and not responding to them so i have to reply to people's dms because it makes me like can i read you something anxious? that i literally saw today on what? instagram by this guy adam grant who's yeah. uh He's like a psychology professor from uh, UPenn, Wharton. He wrote a bunch yeah. of books. Okay. Um, wait, where did it go? Oh, how quickly someone answers you is rarely a sign of how much they care about you. Delayed replies to emails, texts, and calls are often symptoms of being overwhelmed. Unless it's urgent, the true test of a relationship isn't the speed of the response. It's the quality of the attention. Hmm. Uh, I, 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 I just start sending a screenshot <laughs> of that. Like, and you're like, hey, get Molly, back to you later. later. <laughs> <laughs> and I send that too, just being like, and by the way. <laughs> you make it your Instagram bio. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an auto response when someone texts you. Yeah. But and I then just... my biggest goal is just not to open up TikTok at all until like 4 p.m. Oh. TikTok is, will suck. I delete me. it off my phone once a week. Oh. Yeah, I get too into it. And I know, I'm, like, even 30 minutes, I'm just like... Yeah. I should have just been reading. 
Interesting. I, 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 TikTok in the morning would be time. like, oh my god. I would god. never leave my bed. It keeps you in bed. Yeah. yeah. It does. I can tell you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Like, but I like thoroughly enjoy it. It like makes me happy. Yeah. I'm not like dreading. I'm not, like, I should be doing something else. It's like, this is my time. Whatever. That's mm-hmm. really healthy. That's... Yeah. I'm not like bogged by down, bogged down by it. But I think the first thing I check is Reddit. Oh. oh. Just for A like your news for thread? the day? No, just to like see what people are talking about. I follow a lot of like pop culture oh. stuff, a lot of like TikTok drama. It's just fun to read like what's been happening since the day before. Well, I, I guess, guess I need to like start subscribing to better like subreddits. Yeah, Mine are always like, did you know this? Like, yeah, or, there's a nostalgia me, like, one. Have you, are you on that one? What? You would love that one. It's what? like our nostalgia. Yeah, I'm on that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, it does not know Reddit. <laughs> Carly, yesterday we were filming something and she was like, maybe they have the, we had an Am I the Asshole that someone sent in and she was like, maybe I can find it on Reddit. And I was like, I do not know how to do that. This one is free. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> I love Reddit. So wait, what was your first? Probably Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Scroll right through that. I just Instagram every time I open it though, like it's always like someone's th- something really important and then it's like gone. I know it's like, yeah. and, it's like and it's like it's like my best friend's it's like, like pregnancy reveal. And I'm like, oh my god, like, fuck, 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 where did fuck. it go? I, I have to comment on that or I'm gonna be an asshole. Yeah. And then, but sometimes you don't know who posted it. Yes. I know. Like you'll, you'll see a photo, photo. Like, wait, who was that? But if you scroll for a minute, you'll find it usually. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't I really don't check Instagram in the morning at all. I'm like not really looking at it. And then, like, the but day, then somebody's I'm like, I need to go and comment on everyone's Instagram. I need to be a good supportive friend to like other creators. I'm like oh. trying to sometimes allocate my time to be like, okay, now I'm going to go on Instagram and be the best friend ever. And just <laughs> like, cause like, I don't know. Cause we have to support other creators. So like you have other friends who are doing ad deals and shit. You got to yeah. like go Whenever and give I them see engagement. Someone, if I haven't like interacted with someone in a while, if I see that they posted a brand deal, I was always like it. Yeah. Yeah. And I like to comment. We actually have like a, I don't want to say it. Never mind. Oh, I know this. Yeah, I think you told us this one time. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyways, yeah. what do you check? Do you already say? Uh, I usually text, the Torah. email. Yeah. <laughs> the Torah. The Torah. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. The Did you have... the e-Torah? Did... Honestly, people do that. <laughs> did you do the Monday crossword? Oh um, uh, yeah, I did. Torah was one was... of the clues. Are you know it was it? No, it was Torah holders. Yeah, it's... yeah, yeah. I'm saying it was what, in what one is of the clues. Irks? Or... Ark. A R A R K the arc and that's where the Torah goes. It is a little bit of a deep cut for a Monday. Oh, I couldn't get it. Okay. I was like, I wanted to text you guys because I finally got the New York Times subscription crossword. It's so funny. I let mine expire. Mine expired in January and I did not renew. Oh, really? You don't like doing it? No, I like doing daily crossword because I can actually finish it <laughs> in a the minute. Mini? You mean the mini? No. Wait, what I think you said like a different app. It's a different app. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. It's oh. like for idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but it's like so much easier. <laughs> But it's still hard. I do the mini. And the mini is so fun. Okay, but then I started doing the real one. And I'm like, how the fuck do people know what these are? Uh, like, it was pissing me off. It's like, could be could be blue. I'm like, okay. I get like really irritated. What, what I'm like, day of the week oh, did you okay? pick? What day of the week? Well, I don't know. I have Just random days. It, it gets harder progressively throughout the week. Oh. Monday is the easiest. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Saturday is the hardest. Um, have you ever completed a Saturday? No, I completed one Sunday one time. Me too. Ooh, I got like my dad out of frame. It's wow. it, yeah. Well, Sunday is like kind of a gamble. Like it could be between a Wednesday through a Saturday. Saturday I won't even touch. But a Sunday is like that's like if you get a Sunday, it's a real big Whoa. achievement. But like if you look at my archive, all I do is the Mondays. Are, Back to do like you usually 2017. Finish all the Mondays? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have to check then Monday. Monday's Monday's the best. Oh yeah. The, the Tuesday right now. Yeah, uh, I'm doing really good on. But I'm, what? Did you catch like the feline theme on Tuesday? Oh, I haven't done Tuesday. No, yet. what was it, Carly? It's like <laughs> suddenly interesting. <laughs> yeah, because I've been doing it on like cat, Cheshire cat, the cowardly, the cowardly lion, lion, and the. Did you do this one? I did some of it, and then I was like, "This is stupid." And I, it out. <laughs> I was like pissed. Back to TikTok. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. Back to this. <laughs> mindless. Scrolling. I'm balancing my brain. Okay. Yeah. Wait, did you say what it was? Was it the New York Times? Uh, no, no. It's usually email. Oh. Text. Oh, that's. I know it's really bad. Okay, but for no. me, apps are like Instagram, TikTok, yeah. Facebook. Uh, if it's like your Gmail, yeah. I guess. That yeah, counts. no, well, it's just like the mail app. But I usually try to only check my personal, just because I want to see if I have a package coming. I have the UPS or USPS, <laughs> like. It's I love package, tracker. like tra- pack, oh, track and pack. Oh, it's best. such a thrill. You're but like, I have oh, a thing where is it? Oh, it's in. Like, like, oh, you, it updated. You can sign so up for free with USPS where they will email you what you're getting in the mail that day. Like they'll show you scans yeah, of the yeah, front yeah, of yeah. everything. Whoa, so I, I love checking that. that. And I'll be like, you have packages today. And I'm stressful. like, let's go. I'm like here for the surprise. 
I love the surprise. Or if like you see you're getting a wedding invite, I like get excited knowing that a wedding, it'll be the scan of like Mr. Michael Sheffer in the script font. I'm like, ooh, wedding invite's coming. Mm. So that's fun. First time on an airplane. Uh, I was, I was three like weeks th- old or yeah, something. Yeah, three years oh old. Oh yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, baby. Yeah, oh, super ba- big baby. Yeah, super I, baby. I, I, super baby. Super like baby. A month, probably a month. <laughs> it has to have been like a month after I was born. Whoa, where'd you go? Probably Indianapolis for okay. my mom to go show okay, me well, off. I guess like the first plane ride you remember. One, two, whenever I can form memories. I don't know. I've, I feel like I was on a flight all the all time. All the time. Same. Yeah. yeah. Jet setting. What about you, Aaron? I feel like it was probably when I was in fourth grade and went to Disney World. Whoa. That's a pretty memorable one. Yeah. Because yeah. you're going somewhere real exciting. Yeah. I don't think were I'm... Were you scared? I don't remember. Oh. I remember if, like when I was in high school, I went on a plane like with friends and I was a little freaked out. But it's gotten worse over time. Oh, you don't like flying now? No. Mm. What do you do for flight anxiety? Cry. <laughs> really? <laughs> poop finally. Yeah. You're... I poop, I cry, do I you take, take a Xanax. Like, glass of wine, Xanax? No, because wine, it like increases my heart rate in the air. Oh, interesting. I normally take a Xanax, but most of the time it doesn't help. I need to be like sedated. What, when, well, how much what, Xanax do you take? Like half? What kind of Xanax do you have? <laughs> <laughs> the street kind. I think I take, normally it's like 0.25. Maybe just take. But yeah. when, take what part fall. of it is it like taking off, being in the air, landing? The whole thing. All of it. You're not. Yeah. There's never a point where you're like, oh, I can relax now. We took off. Yeah, there's a lot mm. of people who like. Oh, when I anxious. land, I'm like, Jesus, thank God. You know what I'm most scared of on the plane? Is it running into another plane? I, I think always I, think no, that I too. Think about I it all the time. saw a TikTok of like uh, some a plane collision that happened like in like the 80s. Yeah. Due yeah. to Pan air Am traffic work? control, air one, and I was like. What? You're telling me <laughs> what? Happen. And then I started looking at like maps and realizing how many planes are in the air at one time. And you're like, yeah. huh? And then, and then I was on one plane the other day and I saw a plane like not go super close yeah. underneath yeah. us, but just zoom by yes. and I go, huh? And then when like, you see the other planes, because like when you're in the air, you don't realize how fast you're going because it like yeah. takes so long for the air. But then when you see another plane go by, you're like, excuse it's, it's, me? It would be instant. Yeah. It would be instant. Yeah, that's true. Wait, you mean die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. wouldn't even know what's yeah. happening. Uh, I think it's like, I would be the one to like... Jump out and be fine. <laughs> or like, just try to find like some body of water or like, I don't know. I think I was like 12. Do you remember Where were you going? Um, I was going to Arizona because one of my best friends moved. And so like three or four of the girls that were friends with her went there. Cute. That's cute. Did your parents go with you? No. <gasps> so you all took a flight alone? Yeah. That's scary. Whoa. I know. And we had a lot of turbulence, but it was my <gasps> first flight and I loved it. I was like, this is like a ride. I was so excited about it. Oh my God. Nothing in my head was like, oh, it could crash. Uh, sure. Yeah. I was just like, whoa. Fun. Oh my God. Did you have like a one of those people who would like had to travel with you? No. Really? I thought that like yeah, they usually have like a, a minor. Like, or I don't know. Maybe because there's a group of us. Maybe like someone's parent came. I mean, yeah. I really can't remember. Maybe someone's parent came. I have a confirmed memory in my brain. Do you know, like, remember when you would see the cartoons and they would show, like, a guy going across the U.S. and you see, like, the dotted lines of them going yes. from Yes. And you see the names of the states, like, yes. from the... Okay, I thought that when you looked out of a plane window, you would see the name of the state, like, Texas. <laughs> wow. And I swear... I, I have I have a memory of me looking out of a plane and being like, oh, there's Texas. Dude, and I looked out I, the window and I saw no, in didn't. giant <laughs> letters, it said Texas, just like in the cartoons, and I have that memory in my brain. Well, you were definitely on mushrooms. No, I was, like, I was, like, eight years old, and I was like, oh, wow, I can't wait to see what it looks like from above, and I promise you I have a memory of looking at it. My placemat when I would eat dinner as a kid was the United States. It was a map. And I thought that the borders of the state were the roads to get from state to state. So then they would be like, oh, your dad's on a business trip in, like, Washington. I'd be like, oh, so if he has to come back, he has to go down this road, (laughs) this road, and I would go down down the corner of the state. I was probably, like, five, but I remember being like, Oh, that, that makes sense. <laughs> no, our brains are so funny at that age. Yeah. It's like, you just yeah. think so irrationally. <laughs> that is very funny. What's the next? Um, First foreign country you visited. Australia. <gasps> really? What? Yeah, it was oh Australia. My God. For uh, what? My cousins Australia? moved there when I was in so my freshman year of high school. Wow. Yeah, I'd never even been to Mexico, nothing like that. And uh, their whole family moved there and we did Christmas in Australia. So I know, right? That's a pretty like, wow. fun first yeah. country. Not like, because yeah. a lot of people, it's like, oh, it's Canada or Mexico, sure. like neighboring countries to the United States. I went like, freaking halfway That's around crazy. the world. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you remember the flight? 
at all? Yes, it was so long. We had to go from Dallas to LA, from oh. LA to Auckland, New Zealand, and from Auckland, New Zealand to Melbourne. Oh my god. Melbourne, and it Melbourne. was uh oh yeah. It was the first time I think I had acid reflux. It was like on a plane because I was just like, <laughs> yeah. like what's happening with my body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my um, god. And I threw up on the flight back from Australia. I was watching hairspray with Zach Efron. <laughs> and <laughs> why'd you throw up? The movie was that bad. The movie. I don't know. I think I there was some of just acid re- reflux and I think being at that like weird of a position and yeah, digesting can... food at that no, altitude well. i don't know yeah and i remember i threw up on Ugh. and i had a sunburn on the pits of my legs Ew. from oh, the beach in australia God. i remember that but that was my first time out of the country did you see any huntsman spiders no okay no scary insects yeah god i'm no. scared to go to australia that <laughs> me too just seeing One all the photos the to the spiders and just, everything the snakes and yeah. tarantulas and scorpions and oh, no. it's a lot Ugh. it's a lot can you imagine seeing a spider in the corner of your room no. that's bigger than the corner you always have spiders corner. in your life carly i do really i do i really do i mean not recently i feel oh is it like your last apartment or something yeah, i mean yeah and aaron and i's apartment we always got like big ass cockroaches oh <laughs> It was really scary. Ugh, and yuck. I can't, if I get close to a spider, my heart literally starts palpitating. I'm like, I can't even look at this. I can't yeah. deal with it. Sometimes I'm at a point now that if I see like kind of a small one in my room, I'm just like, you're fine. I'm just ignoring it. <laughs> <laughs> or one of my cats will eat it if it's like on the ground or yeah. close, which is nice. But <laughs> what is, what was your first out of the country? Uh, Like the Bahamas. Yeah. Like, ooh, I went on a cruise and you did all of that. Yeah. Down there. Cool. Yeah. I feel like mine was probably Snuck one of those into two. Atlantis. Or Israel? <laughs> yeah, probably Israel, actually, yeah. when oh, I was like a little sense. kid. Yeah. And go meet the grandparents and all that. Cute. I don't remember it at all, but yeah, I think it was Israel. Well, no offense, Matt, but mine was Tokyo. <laughs> oh, oh whoa! man. I remember you got invited trip. on that Bind trip, and I was yeah. so jealous, but I had gone to the London one, so I was like... Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. I did go on like a fun Vine yeah. trip, and it was the London one, but damn, I wish... Yeah, it was very cool. The, the Tokyo one, you got like the full ultimate experience, yeah. so... Had Damn. a panic attack. We were going to go to an owl sanctuary or an owl cafe. It's like a cat cafe, but with owls. I remember we were just like, Scott Sire was there too. Yeah. We were like in the hallway. It was a very narrow stairway. We had to like wait there for 20 minutes. And oh, I like no. literally ran away and like sat in a furniture store. <laughs> no, so I was like, I can't interact breathe. with owls. No, I don't know what it was. I just got a wave of anxiety and panic. No, it wasn't I, about that. I'm I think like I was just... sitting in a corridor where you can't. It's like narrow and compressed yeah, for like a long time. Yeah, like you're jet lagged and I'm like, where am oh, I? Oh, yeah. 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 jet lag will do it. Yeah. So I didn't see the owls. Like in Israel, you can go in Jerusalem by the Western Wall. There's like an underground city you can go into. But in order to get to the thing, you have to go down a one-way underground cave that is literally just wide enough for one person. So they're like, well, just make sure that when you go, you go on time because there's tours coming both ways. Oh, and if there's someone coming toward you, no. like, that's not going to be good. And I just remember being like, I just want to get the fuck out of here as yeah. soon as I can. Go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like being in. That's yeah, that's very valid. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Um, first car. Ooh. A Nissan Altima. What Ooh. year? A two th- well, I got the car in 2008 or nine, but. The year I swear it was probably like a 2003 Nissan Altima, I think 2004 Nissan Altima. I remember the headlights looked really cool because remember the headlights started changing around like the late 2000s. No, I, I don't, couldn't place headlights. Uh, but I know, you I don't can tell like, like what a newer car was because like cars in like the 90s and early 2000s were usually just like red. All their 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 lights, like yeah. the rear, uh, uh, like brake, brake lights? lights. Their brake lights were just red, and then like around late 2000 and te- uh, late 2000s, they start getting like uh, silver Orange. or white. They had like different kind of lights oh, in them. Yeah, and then you saw an Altima. I always thought I wanted that car because it looked newer, but it was older. <laughs> <laughs> what was my car? What color was it? The car? Uh, I b- believe it was called Pewter Gray. <laughs> pewter. The, pewter, pewter Gray. Oh God, is the, the sexiest the color. color you could ever get a car. Pewter Gray. I, yeah, I still see that. I always like have like really fond connections with like when I see like Same. my exact old oh, car. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. Of course, yeah. it's like your baby, mm-hmm. your firstborn. What was your first car? Mine was a Buick Century. Buick. Buick. It was a boat, and it was great. I literally had. It was like one of those cars where it was the driver, and then they had the middle seat. Oh, and bu- then the passenger. Pre- yeah. 
uh, like 2000 maybe. I don't that know. Is it was so like my parents' old car. Of it. I yeah. want to see it. A That's... middle seat in the front. Yeah. Well, it was wow. like you know you it's could just lift seats. the oh, thing up. Oh, is that up. it? Oh yeah, my like gosh! This. Mine yeah. was like a little. <laughs> I guess not I had, that color. I guess my dad had like a truck that did that. Yeah, but that's just so funny. I mean, like, in the front does is not awesome. Exist oh, that's now. so sick! <laughs> and it was yeah. like a deep. It was burgundy, but like kind of different than that. And we called it the Red Dragon. Oh, uh, just like um, Will Ferrell did in old school. Oh, and wow. I love that fucking car. Really? Yeah. What Would happened you, are, to it? They just, just got old, rid of it. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever buy a new one just to like relive the memories? Like buy one out here to have. No, didn't love it that much. But I felt like really badass because it was so spacious and like you're so low. Yeah, that you're in I like was a like, living room on the, in the like road. I'm like a gangsta, like, yeah, like a low rider. Yeah, I get like such a rush. Or one time I uh got my lift was like a 2004 Honda Pilot Gold one that was my mom's exact car oh from when God. I was a kid. Oh wow! And I was like, like looking around. Well, and when you get in the back seat of like your parents' like old car, dude, it just memories <laughs> yeah, rush right yeah. at you yeah oh my gosh i love that feeling Damn. of like or whenever i see like a car that's like identical from my childhood i'll like look in the window yeah. to, like, <laughs> just read all the buttons What's and going knobs on here? and yeah. seats well, and, oh, like, yeah. it's all the shit you would like fidget with and, yeah. like, yes. pick at, you don't have and phones or anything to like distract yeah. us yeah. in the car oh, remember road trips as a kid not oh, having yeah. any we any take, technology like, a vhs tv and yeah. like bungee cord it to like and we would like watch that before we had dvd players in our yeah, car. I, I remember too. always seeing you see family with a flip down DVD Rich. player in the yeah, middle and you're like, like okay, must be nice. Rich. Must be nice. Yeah. Or when the, the, the TVs were in the back of the headrests. That was... Oh, wow. Patricia's okay, car airplane. has TVs in the back of the headrests and we what? never watch anything but it's still just like that's so cool. We, yeah. I forget that they're like... It's like pin my ride car. level. Does it have like, like a yes. DVD insert or something? Yeah. Or? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. funny. Wow. Yeah, she's like, Damn, we should, we should like turn those on sometime. Yeah, just like watch something. Have a movie night in the back of the car. Yeah, yeah. Porn, like a movie scene. It was always cool, like on like cribs or pit my riders. They like, and we put TVs to entertain the people driving behind you. Remember that? Yeah, where yeah. they put it in the back seat. Yeah, yeah. like the trunk. Yeah, I always love driving. Sometimes if I see a TV on, I'm like, "What movie is it?" Like, oh, it's usually yeah. a kids' movie, though. Yeah. You're, you're never seeing like, "Damn, they're watching The Godfather." <laughs> <laughs> is that The Godfather? Just <laughs> children. No, they're watching yeah. Banshees of Inna Sharon. Yeah, <laughs> great movie. What about you guys? Uh, mine was an Acura Integra. It was like a sports car, kind of. Ooh. Just, yeah, it was like car. a deep forest green, two doors. Ooh, forest green. Hmm. Acura. Yep. Me and my mom got the same car, matching. A Jeep Commander 2007. She got one in white. Ooh, I got Jeep. one in black. That's yeah. cute. A Jeep Commander? What did a Commander look like? You still see them out. We saw one today, actually, on the way really? here. Yeah. I don't oh. point them out, but they, they look like kind of more military looking. They're just very boxy. Um, they only made them, I think, for a few years. It was the biggest Jeep uh, my oh. parents were just like so concerned about me getting into a car accident. They were like, "You're gonna <laughs> crash. We need to put you in a safe big car." Oh my god! So I got a big Jeep Commander. It was sick for was the time. Was it new? Brand new. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh did my god! A new car. Yeah. My parents wow. were just like, "Because you were the eldest, or I did all of the shepherds get new down? cars?" Uh, no, because I went. I only had it for high school, and then I went to college, and then I didn't need it, so I think they got rid of it. Mm. Oh, Jeep um, Commanders were sick. Yeah, they was it was sick. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember those. It was really cool. Jeeps um, are so sick. But I remember also thinking, like, I knew the technology was going to evolve, and they had a navigation system, but when they would update the navigation system, you need to go to the Jeep dealership, and they would give you a new DVD oh of the new <laughs> maps that they came out oh with, and God. I was like, this is going to be outdated <laughs> so soon. Like, this already feels outdated. Knew. Yeah. And now I'm like, now that I have a Tesla, I'm like, this is what we should have been having the whole time, but... <laughs> Uh, I still have like love for Jeep. When I was considering selling my Tesla a couple months ago, because like the prices were insane, oh, I was getting yeah. an insane offer. It was like the only car I feel like I could get, but Tesla all the way, yeah. electric cars all the way. First time getting high. Oh. Oh. First time on what? <laughs> Well, the, the next it. one's first time doing drugs. <laughs> Yikes. My first time getting high was definitely with you. What? Yeah. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. Because remember, you would have to hold. Uh, yes. I remember, I remember being over there and you were like, come on, Carly. Like, yeah. <laughs> you were trying to teach her. And she's like, all right, inhale it. And you were like. Right. She and to, we're using like a bowl. Yeah. She had to cover the hole and that uncover it. That is so funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't remember like the first time. I also feel like when you're like a teen and you're doing it, like you think you're getting high, but you're probably doing it wrong. Yes. Yeah. First time I smoked weed, I didn't get high. And then it was yeah. my third time. I was like, yes. oh my God, <laughs> yeah. I'm dying. I'm dying. Yeah. Yes. 
I was at, I think it like uh, takes a little yeah, bit of time. I, I, I had like really bad experiences like trying to smoke weed and it was just like, ugh. And then I was at a party after homecoming in high school. We were at this friend's house whose parents were like super cool with us just like doing whatever. And he had this like back house and it was like a huge party, people playing beer pong. And I hit and I like hit, had some really good hits. And then I'm sitting watching people play beer pong and I was like, <laughs> is this moment happening right now? Yeah, like it was yeah. like my brain was not perceived. I was just like so spaced out from like my own perception of things, and I was like, "Oh, this is being high. This is it." Yes. I was, it yeah, it shook me up. Yeah, once you're like get there, you're like, "Oh, I like this." Yeah, I was a little like, "Is this really?" I felt like it was in a dream, yeah. like kind of a state. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like one of the first times that I smoked weed, it was you always had to do it in places that were a little secretive. So we would like go into a car and drive around. Oh yeah. And so I was in the back seat of a friend's car, and they what had what kind of car? I don't know. Like a, I feel like Nissan Altimos are always weed smoking cars. <laughs> it, it was absolutely probably that. Yeah. Anytime um, I see a Nissan, it's just like in New Jersey, maybe anytime yeah. you would see a Nissan Altima drive by, you would just smell weed, weed like yeah. 10 seconds later. Yep. That's what the yeah. high school kids are doing. And so he, we were just like literally driving around the neighborhood and he had a sunroof open, obviously, so it wouldn't like stink in the car. And so we were in the back seat where I was smoking it and like barely knew what I was doing at the time either. And so I am I have a bowl and then I light it and I'm leaning over it like oh this. No. And at the time I had like oh no. kind of like curtain bangies it like little swoop bangs and they all lit on fire <laughs> oh no in a car uh-huh oh my god I... <clears throat> oh my god what did you do like, did it look bad after or was it like no fine? they just like sizzled a little oh well, i was in college god. and i was on a road trip with a girl and i was like lighting her bowl and then i was like she was like smoking and i was looking at her hair and i realized that like yeah. her bang was like crunchy and i was like Oh, and I didn't singed. tell her. I didn't yeah. tell her. Yeah, 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 you didn't put it out. No, it wasn't like on fire, but it was just like like singed it off. Oh yeah. god. One of, oh, one of my favorite. When I like got into it though, and I, I remember this time so specifically, I was so high. We went. We were at my best friend's house, and I don't think her parents were home. But there was nowhere to really smoke without it smelling in the house. So we were in the bathroom. Like put the towel under the door so it wouldn't get out. Yeah. And we had to smoke out of a water bottle. Like. You remember yeah, those days? Yeah. And, yeah. Everything, and yeah. then like the um you could do it with like a toilet paper with the uh dryer sheet over oh, yes. it. Yes. yes, and they really thought that would like prevent the smell. I think it I think it does. Uh, in a way, I've, but like, I've been in a room where people smell. do that and it's like, whoa, that's crazy. Oh really? Yeah. But we just like did it out the window and then I yeah. came home and my aunt was living with me at the time and I didn't know she was gonna be there and I was so high. We literally went back to my house and we were like <laughs> raiding the pantry. Oh, and she God. didn't say anything to be to me, but then my cousin was like, Do you guys smoke? Like my mom said something to me <laughs> oh, no. about you guys seeming really hungry. And then I was like, I'm so cool now. Like <laughs> I'm so high. Yeah. <laughs> I was I remember one time I was like high at like my friend's house and um but like I had never like met his like parents or his family and stuff like that. Sure. And then we were like high and I was in his living room and his dad came home <gasps> and I was like, he goes, he's like, hello. And I'm like, hi, I I'm Chris Hiller's friend. He goes, I'm Chris Hiller's father. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> like, I was like so high and I'm I was like, like obviously I'm in your house, no but I'm like introducing myself. I it was just First so and last name. Yeah. And I was just like, he was just like, okay, cool. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> when was your first kiss? Uh, my first kiss. Well, hey, do we talk about like kiss? And what was his name? <laughs> Mine, I'm pretty sure. Mary, this girl, Mary Kate, would uh kissed me in oh, kindergarten. But like, yeah, yeah, I won't say her last name. But <laughs> Mary she, Kate Olsen. <laughs> uh, she kissed me on the playground in kindergarten. But does that count? So like, do, do like child kisses, <laughs> or then do you count like little hussy? Or then do you count like puberty kisses, where it's like, oh my gosh. Well, like, say like, like you're like stages of kisses. That so counts. yeah, that was like my kid kiss, and then this girl Christine. Oh, we were doing like names. spin the bottle at her house. Like it was like her spin third, the bottle. It was like th her thirteenth birthday. Was it spin the bottle or, or like, truth I don't or even dare think? Or something. Yeah, truth or dare, and she kissed me, and it was her first kiss, and it was like my first like I don't know. I felt like make out adult kiss. No, kind my of. first make out was this girl Taylor, <laughs> <laughs> and like we were journal. doing a play to. Uh, and she, we were backstage and we were so bored because like the play was mostly about these other two people and we just had side roles. And she just like, I was sitting on a chair and then she sat down on the chair and then just made out with me. And I was like, oh my <laughs> God. Happening. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was some That's crazy. Good wow. times. It's like out of a out of Degrassi or something. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Let's move on. Kisses. I don't want to like talk about this stuff. I would like to hear well, you guys. What, what, how like old were you? Uh, twenty in seventh grade. Guys, we're working with a bunch of prude men. Here. <laughs> they won't let me talk about sex. They won't let me talk about drugs. Oh, then you. Can, I would like to hear you guys. You guys can. Uh, I was like, I think I was like fifteen. Dive into the records. Okay, fifteen. I think I was fifteen. It was this boy I had a crush on. We kissed. We pecked Aww. in our friend's entryway because he was leaving. I like went up <gasps> to say goodbye to him. And classic. Yes. That's like so classic. I love that. Yeah. And was then it I was like, mutual... I don't like him anymore. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, had you guys been like hanging out in the basement or something? And um, then there was it like was a like... group of friends. Yeah, yep. we were all hanging out in the basement. All yeah. the nostalgia. But it's, it was such a fun. <laughs> I love it. I know. I love that feeling of like, I have a crush on somebody. Yes. And then it's like, will we, won't we? Yeah. Have a kiss. And it's like, oh, I guess I should see him out since like we both like each other. Yeah. Like, I we don't know it for sure, but we both know. <gasps> Did you a... make the first move? Yeah, I was going to say, what I was don't the... remember. Okay. I feel like it was just automatic. Like, we were just like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I remember being kind of like <laughs> underwhelmed. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was just like, oh. Yeah, Peck is. It wasn't a makeout. Oh, that's name? why. Josh, Josh, Josh Brown. Josh Brown. Yep. Oh my God, d- d- just naming them. I mean, that's pretty common. Yeah, the name, I guess. was Christine Bros. <laughs> Matt, stop! Don't do that. <laughs> And then my first time doing anal. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I was right. It was the next night. It was that same <laughs> night. <Whoa! laughs> well, I with a different boy from the basement. Whoa! Oh my god! I just wanted to say that to get know, Mike's I know, reaction. I know. <laughs> Why don't you oh, like talking about this stuff? I don't know because like, like you, you don't like family members to watch. Yeah, like my or, parents okay. watch this and like. Hey, mom. <laughs> Who was your first kiss, Aaron? Uh, it was like the same kind of situation. We were at like a friend's birthday party. I feel like we were in like middle school, maybe even like sixth grade. Yeah. And it was like truth or dare situation. And then they're like, oh, truth or dare. And then it was like, if you didn't pick dare, you were a loser. Yeah. You know what I mean? So then it was like everyone kissed everyone that day. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember. I probably kissed like three people. But it was just like, Whoa. but it was probably like a, you know. Yeah. Was that exhilarating though? And then my first like... meaningful kiss, I was shit faced, but it was like <laughs> fireworks were going off. Oh, and I was wow. so happy. And then I loved kissing. I was like, oh, I want to kiss someone all the time. <laughs> Wait, was it July 4th, like actual fireworks? No, or... like it's okay, to me. Okay. Like it was really Emotional exciting. Fireworks. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Emotional fireworks. Who, who was he? Just a boy? Yeah, just a boy. Did you end up dating? I... Um, or no. Just like had a not... thing for a minute. Yeah, it was like a. It's complicated, yeah. Situation. Mm. We were both like in love with each other and never dated because he was an asshole. No. Should we love call that. him right now and just see what he's up to? Yeah. <laughs> see how that kiss was. Did he also have fireworks? Yeah. We should ask. Probably not. He probably yeah. made out with like three other people that night. I don't know. Oh, what an ass. And <laughs> your first time doing anal? <laughs> um, last week. No, no. Whoa. I actually have a cl- no anal ever. That's, yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, exit only. Oh yeah. Mm mm. Especially for someone who's so constipated, like oh, gosh. it's just okay. make matters worse. Next question. Or it would make matters worse. Uh, I love how you're like, what are we gonna do a sex episode? And I'm then, like, never. Oh wait, no, no, no. Just oh, today. oh, just now. I know, but I was like jokingly saying it. Okay, Unless well. we did. Wow. And it was for Patriot. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good influences what after is dark. What is stigma? You guys need to just be open. First date. I don't remember oh, mine. God. Oh, Ugh. like a real date. I went to Romeo's. Pizza? <gasps> Romeo's Mexican. Little Romeo's. Romeo's Mexican. It's an Omaha. I think yeah, it's only like Omaha. She's from Nebraska. What do you think? It, no, it is like <laughs> my Italian. Friend. Italian name for a Mexican he goes restaurant. It's to, to Juan Valdez's sushi spot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have never thought about that. <laughs> Why is it called Romeo's? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> But it was another situation. I had a huge crush on this Welcome. kid. His name was Logan. And we I was like so excited. We, he picked me up. I was like 15 Sorry. or 16. He was 16. He had a car. We oh. went. I felt so awkward on the date. And after I was oh like, I'm over this. Well, what is that when like finally they're interested in you? You're like, eh, no, no. I just no. I think I like the idea of people sometimes, especially as younger. It's like I yeah. like the idea of this, and then it's like, oh wait, I don't actually like the person. Yeah. yeah. Oh I, yeah, I dated this girl Casey in like middle school, and I remember <laughs> it was like it was a lot of build up Always to like name. kissing or like we were gonna kiss, and then I was like 
at her like apartment complex and we were by the pool and then like my mom was coming to pick me up and then I was like I gotta go and then she just like gave me a hug and then she like, kissed me on the cheek and then I was like <gasps> like I was just I, there was something about it where it was like she had made like the move and it yeah. like freaked me out like on how bold she was and it like scared me yeah about like how intense this was getting I was so young I was like 6th grade but Josh yeah. Weinberg's soul food <laughs> Chicken and wings. Josh Weinberg's chicken and wings. Very yeah. normal. <laughs> Listen, I've never thought about it. But they had the best queso, like cheese dip. Ooh. Oh my fucking god. Have you I had wish. home states queso? Oh, home state yes. is so, so good. I got home really state good. in my oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, my in my bag. lunch. In my lunch is tail. it open in the morning? Yeah, they have breakfast tacos. But like that, oh, I forgot we recorded late today. But like also the pickup is so fast. Uh, like I know. Yeah, I have it like every day. I fucking <laughs> love. I wish I What's lived like closer. What's like your go-to? Um, I've now been kind of like venturing out of the breakfast tacos, oh, which yeah. I usually go for like Trinity and like the Neches. Yes, and love then, the Trinity. Uh, now, but now I get to get the chicken tacos, but with cheddar cheese on it. Also, have you had the Tijuana Panthers? Welcome to the hyper niche no. section it's of not guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, you won't let us talk about butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Wait, first dates. No one else said oh, anything. I don't, I don't remember, remember like my first. Oh really? I didn't like date in high school. Dates. I think I told the story on one podcast where I got scammed in Chinatown. Oh yeah. yes, on podcast. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this one. Yeah. That was your first date. That was my first date. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't remember. What is your first tattoo? I think you tattoos. you two only have your tattoos. You you never gotten a tattoo? No. Can you believe that? Do you? Well, want... If you did, you think I had a tattoo? No. Oh. Do you want one? No, not anymore. I really thought about it for a long time, and then I'm kind of just like glad I didn't do it. Well, what was your first tattoos? Mine's this one. What does that say? It says family in Gaelic, and like all of my older cousins, when they first turned 18, they all would get it. So it was like a rite of passage. Your family crest? That's, yep. And don't you have like a, uh, what's it, like on your neck? A Celtic knot. A Celtic knot. I got that. Um, my best friend and I, we were drunk. I thought it was Legends of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I thought it was, a free I thought it was Freemasons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were drunk. We were like, we should go get tattoos tomorrow. And then we woke up like slap happy. And we were like, oh, we still got to do it because we said we were going to. And we then we went it. and we were like, we'll take that. Uh, <laughs> we'll just take that. But it's still on brand Celtic. It's Yeah. yeah, yeah it's you, Irish. You it's like, like hidden. Yeah. I yeah, have like eight tattoos. It. It's weird. You, how, you don't really see it though that often. You never, you would never know. You you, you physically will never see it. Isn't that weird getting Unless a tattoo? You get but, yeah. I've seen it like many, many times. Like I know exactly what it looks like. Yeah, but Erin has but, never seen it with her own eyes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, only in the reflection yeah. in, in a mirror. mirror. Sometimes pictures. when I see it in pictures now, I'm like, oh. Yeah. yeah I you forgot. forgot. Unless you get like decapitated and yeah. then right before. Oh my God. <laughs> That's the same as my tramp stamp. Do you have a tramp stamp? Yeah. No, you don't. <laughs> No, but you a don't. big butterfly. No. Yeah. Oh, I mean. No, I don't. I Everything else cat. is forward facing. That's cool. I have just Frank right here. It's kind of kind of fading, and then my other cat. That's it. Just those two. Yep. Oh wow. Well, actually, this isn't my other cat. This is just a random. Have you been working out? Cat. I do Pilates a lot. You, you, your arms look stronger. <laughs> really? Probably. Yes. You, you just moved. I was like, whoa. Thank you. Yeah. Like you got like so, some triceps. Oh yeah. There. There's a little bit of definition. There she is. Don't She'll fuck, with fuck me. you up. Wow. Because I remember like your arms, <laughs> you weren't like, or no, you were like. <laughs> no, go ahead. I don't care. No, you weren't like, you didn't have like big arms, but I remember you just had like very like, like flabby. soft, like flabby arms. <laughs> flabby. But those look like, those look like tone. Thank you. That's nice. <laughs> what? You had flabby arms. <laughs> well, I remember like flabby I know what you arms. Mean, I just yeah. remember like, yeah. if I ever grabbed you, it's just like, she's girl. a little yeah. squishy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, remember when you had thick arms? <laughs> and then, well, you never get a tattoo because religion? Uh, yes, but also I think even with our religion, I, I think I would just immediately regret whatever I got. Yeah. Oh. I'm really, I'd be like, why did I do that? I shouldn't have got that one. Okay. I'm really indecisive. Yeah, and exactly. I think I would get something that I think at the time would be really original, but then it would end up like, it, it'd be trendy. And then I feel like it's, it's the interior design. It's the interior design of my body. Like yeah, I, that's true. I, your body I, is a temple. But you could get it like, <laughs> you probably don't even know like half of my tattoos. You can really get them in places that no one would ever see them. Yeah. yeah, Aaron has what, like eight? Mm -hmm. I also <laughs> all in hidden place. One on my lip, one Foot. here, my neck, two on my feet, left and right. This. What is that? 1975 one. Paris. Oh. oh yeah, my box tattoo. Mm -hmm. The box tattooed on her arm. 
I I also think growing up, like we would have like Holocaust survivors come and speak to us yeah. in like third grade, and they would oh, show you that, and they're just like that's that makes sense. So yeah. like tattoos to me feel like a weird a marking or branding. Oh, and, absolutely. Like for me to voluntarily put one on would be like. I have a question. When sure. Stranger Things came out, I know now it's kind of like in the media where they were like saying how because they all get numbered. Do they? Like she's yeah, eleven. Yeah, I haven't seen. I only saw the first season, so I don't know. Oh. Is it in the newer seasons? Yeah. No, well, or yeah, yeah. Just it's all like a, of them have like a number. They get like tattoos. Yeah. Uh-huh. Is that controversial in Stranger Things? I think it became like a hot topic this year a lot because of mainly like anti Semitism mm. is like way on the rise. Mm. Yeah. I so don't know. So I think people like brought light to I it. I think that's fine. First. <laughs> Oh, I, like I actually this. wrote this down first time shooting a gun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I've never shot a gun. You uh, haven't? No. Uh, does skeet shooting count? You live in America. You never <laughs> shot a gun? What do you no. mean you haven't shot a gun? What about your rights? Oh, my God. Well, BB guns don't count, though, I shot right? a real gun. Yeah. Really? I shot, like, skeet shooting oh, no, I in think college. that counts. Yeah, yeah. A BB, BB gun? gun? Oh, yeah, BB gun when I was, like, a kid. Yeah, Aaron used to hunt, I, like, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. No way. Yeah, she shot a bear. No, you didn't. No, you no, didn't. I could never. A no, bear? No. <laughs> yeah, where do you guys think I was, Albrecht? Like a crossbow? <laughs> no, I could Jordan. never, ever, like, hunt for sport. No, like, me that, neither. like, just really rubs me the wrong way. But I have shot a gun, like, at a shooting range. Uh, and shooting I, like, range is still freaking me I'd be out. so they scared. Really scare yeah. me, but I want to try just to see what it feels like. Yeah. Does it feel good? I, I was a little freaked out. But, like, when you shoot the gun, you're like, you're goddamn right. I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm American. American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the eagle, sound. the eagle of the American flag. That's really funny. That's insane. No. <laughs> like, what is, like, what's happening? Um, I mean, the, wait, what is the TikTok where it's like, I'm proud to be a part of this country. <laughs> I mean, like, I've like, never heard that. It's one. like when I can get when I can get in and out cheeseburger and or when I can get in and out cheeseburger and Chick Fil A fries oh in one god. in one swoop or something or like something dumb about America. And then oh it's like, my god! Are very funny. Yeah. I have not seen those, but please <laughs> okay, start well, sending those to me. Sorry to also no, like more older. animal sounds, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I went to a shooting range one time, but I do love bringing a BB gun down to like Joshua Tree and then setting up like the beer cans. So after you own you a BB them. gun? I do. Yeah. Someone said said how old when you first left home 20, college yeah probably college, college. two oh wait college oh yeah yeah, yeah. Well, yeah let's say after college did you like move back home after college and then yeah, yeah right i had like a weird college i like lived at home for my last couple years of college but i can't believe when I, moved I did here. all of that it's so crazy <laughs> like like we moved across the country I wasn't yeah. like that anxious back then. Like, I don't know. Yeah. For such like a weird transition and everything going on and the uncertainty of everything, like, I'm glad I made it through. I don't know. Like, I feel like, like I'd be more young. nervous now going back and doing it all over again. Yeah. Except Cause buying you just Bitcoin, have, like, you know? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Because what? Like, or I would just go buying back and like Bitcoin. buy Bitcoin and not do anything. But <laughs> yeah. I just, the thought of having to restart and do it all over again, I'm just glad yeah. it's like over. Yeah, but don't you realize that worrying didn't help you like if you yes. would have been worrying you wouldn't have done anything yes, so don't I worry complete, anymore you're so right mike i know <laughs> yeah, yeah 18 did you you didn't move back after college i after college moved into an apartment but then when i decided that i was going to live in la we either had the option to renew the lease or end it and so i was like oh i'm going to go live at home get like save $10,000 and then move to la so yep. that helped $10, me save. Ten thousand dollars was the number. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what was in my bank account. Like I had the same amount in... as Aaron. Yeah, no, that was I was like my goal, and I worked my ass off, and I mean, I was paying like two hundred and fifty dollars in rent or something stupid. Oh my god! Yeah, my and first had apartment, a sick ass house. <laughs> my first apartment was eight hundred dollars a month each in Jersey City. Yeah, I think mine was like seven. I can, can well, you mine imagine nine hundred when I moved out to LA? Ugh. I actually think mine was five hundred. Rent under a thousand dollars is crazy oh yeah and you just get like i mean not in new york obviously but like no in other, like i lived in a whole pay in ass college house. like think, 350 400 dollars a month i can't remember i'm so what's weird is like prices because i i'm so focused on it when it's happening but then when yeah. it's over i like block oh, it yeah. all out of my memory of what i was paying for yeah. something because yeah. i don't like i'm just like i'm glad it's over i don't so i don't remember what my rent was ever in college i don't oh, remember really? how much 
Did I, you like, pay for it? Me going out on like the night on the town. I don't know how much money I was spending, but like I know I was <laughs> the like night on the town. <laughs> but I don't know. I just don't. I can't remember how much money was in my bank account in college. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, very little. Yeah, but yeah, definitely like little. Probably less than five, four thousand dollars. Less than that too. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I had no money. Thousand? Yeah, yeah no. I was, yeah, I was like, like probably a couple hundred dollars in there. <laughs> just going back to Target for the breaks. I would get loading change. up and then... I, I I would try to like get dollars and like put. Oh, together yeah, just yeah. to go to like Jimmy John's yeah. because I, I just remember not wanting to spend anything on my card because yep. that's what I would spend downtown for like beer and stuff <laughs> yeah. and I would just need it but I needed, did you have like, like a food. coin a, like I a hated cup asking my parents for money I used to have a cup that I would just keep quarters and pennies and everything in and like every month I would try and yes it's like oh $20 yeah. Let's go. We would literally save all of our cans and bring them in to get <laughs> oh, change wow. back because we would have like big parties too. So You've then we done have a... that. Wait, in Texas, we don't have that. Like, oh, oh did yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's you can do. I see them in Michigan. Yeah, yeah. ten so cents. You can, so you you keep all your cans, and then someone would go take. And you then, take them to like a store, right? Yeah, there. Yeah, you could bring them to like a liquor store, or they have like, and they give you money for do them. You put yeah. them in a machine. Um, it depended. Or do they count them? Do they it, weigh it? There were a few different places. One place that we went to, it kind of was like a factory. You would literally, there were like um like crates basically and you would have to line them all up in that and then they were they they would count them like under a machine which that was really annoying because it took so long um but yeah there was a few ways machine that way sometimes just like the liquor store i'm pretty sure but we did it like every weekend yeah it's a great way to make a couple extra bucks do you ever wish you could go back to college with the money you have now. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to waste yeah. it at, no, in that college I town. Feel like it was, That's the beauty of college. Yeah. 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 I mean, I would, I would, I would have literally been like buying have all no, the kegs me? and just, I, I would have wanted to like treat my friends like a little bit like right. Instead of being oh. like very much like, okay, the keg was $180. So you owe 20, you owe yes. 20, you owe 20. I'm not going until we get the money from everybody. Like yeah. you yeah. want to just be like, guys, don't even worry about it. Keg's on me. Totally. I got a second one. Yeah. Just having that confidence in college where you're like a little financially secure. Yeah. But it also of, teaches uh, you the responsibility of like how to yeah. maintain like what you have. Yeah. I would have liked to. Yeah. And that's like the beauty of it. Like everyone chip in. Yeah. And stuff and like. Oh my god, I would be like fucked up at the bar, and like if I wanted a shot, I would literally just buy them for other people because I didn't want to take it alone. And then I would look at my credit card the next day and be like negative money. <laughs> oh my god, fuck. Is this All so the petty time. that I legit think about like, oh, if I went back, I could afford a fraternity. <laughs> Oh, Didn't like, you weren't you in one? Like being no. like paying oh. for it to be a part of one. I could pay. How like, much are those? Like like six hundred thousand. It's like what? It's like yeah, it's Why like it's petty? it's so expensive. But no, it's just weird. Like because it was like I had to rely on my parents. And my parents were like, "You're on the speed team. You're gone all the time. Like that's gonna be a waste of yeah. our money." Oh, so like I didn't yeah. want to do it. But like now knowing now, I'd be like, "Oh, well, I could pay for it." <laughs> you pay for every. You're an album. But like, but I would. But my life would have been totally different if yeah. I was in a fraternity. But there's totally. just something about probably like, oh well, I could do th- that. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's just weird thinking about it. Like, certain things that were withheld from you, like, now, if you could go back, you could have done it. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I'm just full, like, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. We all lived our lives the way we did. We wound up and here. And now we're here on yeah. purpose. Cute. Thanks so much for watching. If this was your first time, welcome. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Liza Matt. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Comment below the first time your cherry was popped. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Why are you acting like we're 17? I know. I love it. I didn't know this about Mike. I know. I, I just like, try and be like polite and modest in these types of things. He's conservative. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not sex. <laughs> okay. Well, make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, send us an email, follow us on Instagram, all the good things. And Instagram will always have our prompts for yeah. the oh, next yes. couple episodes. So make we got sure you're... so many of these from mm-hmm. you guys. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. So make sure you're on our Instagram. Send us emails. Good influences. Yes. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Toodles.